Andre and Joey, Humble's body was found in a private pond not far from where he was last known to be. Today, I met with investigators near that pond. Justin Humble's loved ones have been waiting weeks to hear from him, only to receive the news his body was found in a pond Thursday night. Somewhere around 9, 930, we received a tip that, uh, that uh, something was floating over in this pond, and uh, we came on out and got a boat, went out there, and sure enough, it was Mr. Humble. The Nettleton man's body was 350 to 400 yards away from where his vehicle was found. Deputy say Humble has been missing for 23 days. He disappeared after dropping off some friends. We were uh, hoping that things would work out and we would find him alive, but that didn't work out. And uh, we hate that it worked out the way it did, but at the same time, we're glad we could give his family some closure. Every bit of information led investigators back to the area where Humble was last seen on Little Coontail Road. We had already searched that area several times, but you know, when a body's underwater, I mean, we, you know, we didn't know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, in a few days, it did, it did come up. So mm -hmm. that's where we're at. Lead investigator Rodney Starling says the search was going to continue until the 27-year-old man was found. Since December 27th, mm -hmm. I've had very little sleep. I've been out at night, mornings. Uh, matter of fact, all the investigators have been out. Uh, the community has done a great job helping out. A uh, search and rescue team has done an outstanding job. If there is some foul play, you know, of course, we're going to ask MBI to help us on it, and they, and they will. Mm -hmm. And uh, But at this point, you know, we, we're just going to wait and see the results of the uh, uh, information that we get from the crime lab in Jackson. Humble's body will be sent for an autopsy tomorrow. Joey.